Hi friends and new friends, I'm Christopher Carruthers, also known as Tao of Satoshi. You know, Dash gets a lot of press for being as close to perfect of a digital cache as you can get. Smooth, secure, lightning fast, and optionally private transactions make Dash the best choice for payments of any kind. On top of all this though, Dash is also building something that will go beyond payments into a sort of decentralized application ecosystem. Pretty cool. Recently, a prominent Dash developer, Readme, did an interview with Hacker Noon, where he described one of the latest apps being developed for Dash platform. Stay tuned for more on this episode of Cash Alternative TV. So what is Cash Alternative TV, other than that catchy jingle? Well, it's a show about cryptocurrency with a focus on Dash, which aims to be a digital cash for the world or an alternative to cash. If that's something that interests you, you want to learn more about Dash, or just want to hang out with me some more, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss an episode. Now onto the topic of today's show. So what's this about Dash and building a crypto app store on its network? Well, Dash platform is defined as a technology stack for building decentralized applications on the Dash network. The two main architectural components, Dash Drive and Dappy, turn the Dash P2P network into a cloud that developers can integrate with their own applications. To learn more about it, after you finish watching this video, you better finish, you can check out the explainer series by Amanda B. Johnson, the link to which I'm going to leave below in the description. Now I'm going to break down what I found most noteworthy about this recent interview. Readme was asked why he chose Dash platform to build apps on and not another blockchain. He cited the fact that with the platform ecosystem, a developer can register their identity and start coding right away using the blockchain's decentralized API for interaction and storage of that identity's data. He's especially excited about the Dash data contract for capability for Web3 applications. Another very important reason is Dash's perpetually low fees. Ethereum's gas, gas fees can reach unbelievable levels. With Dash, they were guaranteed to remain low by network decree. If they ever increase in a significant way, Dash's decentralized autonomous organization will simply vote to lower them in Dash's code. This is a great benefit to complex on-chain operations. Readme was then asked what he was currently working on, and this is where I personally found out something new that I would like to share with you. He's working on a combination of non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, and the popular game Minecraft. You guys play it? It's basically linking the items or structures built on Minecraft with on-chain data. This simple union is a precursor to all kinds of virtual things that could be linked to platform chain and then to the monetization cap capabilities of the Dash network. This app called Dashcraft will be released to testnet network soon. But this could only be the tip of the iceberg because Readme can see all kinds of apps being built using the NFT functionality, combined with Dash's DAPI identities and of course Dash's low fees. In-game purchases, rewards, or betting apps could be created among so many others that can take advantage of data contracts. Gamers in particular demand speed, Readme said. So Dash's instant transaction capability due to chain locks also removes a lot of the headaches with blockchain-based applications on other networks. Speaking of networks, Readme was also asked what are the differences between building on Ethereum or Dash platform? Well, apart from the much lower usage fees, the biggest one is that the computation in Ethereum takes place on-chain, where in Dash it takes place on the developer's central server. In Dash, the focus is more on data contracts, which allows for simple account creation and management, with off-chain computations crossing the DAPI into the cloud. It also allows for a single user login to the ecosystem, giving the user access to all accessible apps on the Dash platform while remaining control over his own data. So besides Dashcraft, what other cool apps are the developers working on? Well, with all of the current noise over censorship and deplatforming, a future Dash platform will feature a decentralized Twitter alternative called Gemby, a point of sale merchant app called Checkout, and a merchant backend system called InStore, or a couple of the other noteworthy ones. Harnessing Dash's smooth economic transactions and Dash Platform's decentralized API and data contracts will eventually result in a wide selection of applications open to anyone with access to a single username and password. So of course devs are wanted for all this. There's an ongoing bounty program to attract new developers. If you're interested in giving it a whirl, I'll leave some links below. Or you can visit that interview page where they can be found as well. I highly recommend it. Readme says that interest in Dash platform development is growing every week, even with the limited functionality they currently enjoy. More functionality will be of course built over time. 
And the underlying Dash blockchain conditions that encourage innovation will of course not change. Two companies, reward site Zagar and eSports site ReadyRater, have already made the switch from Ethereum ERC20s to Dash, citing cash flow savings and efficient blockchain operations. When the time comes that more companies and applications make the jump, Dash will be ready with a scalable blockchain that will maintain low fees for as long as it runs. So with an industry-leading cryptocurrency payment network and massive possibilities for Dash platform decentralized applications, Dash is really looking like a project to watch moving forward. Well, that's it for me today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more from me in Cash Alternative TV episodes. Until next time, remember, Dash is a digital alternative to cash and is becoming more so every day. Bye for now.